freezing the Arab population as a whole, the Palestinian population as a whole, as an inferior race. I mean, it doesn't get stronger than this. And yet you want to be careful about your language. You're happy to correctly use the most strong and robust language to describe the crimes against humanity of Vladimir Putin, but you will not use the same strength of language when it comes to describing the Isra Israel's treatment of the Palestinians when it is now being documented and detailed by two of the most uh, respected human rights organizations in the world and indeed has been alleged by dozens and dozens of non-governmental organizations uh, and to be honest anybody who looks honestly at the decades of brutal, inhumane persecution of the Palestinians, successive assaults uh, on Gaza, the annexation of their land and territory, the systematic application of apartheid rules, you don't want to even use the word apartheid. Never mind sanctions. Five days sanctions against Putin and his thugs, 70 years of oppression by the Palestinians, and it wouldn't be, what was the word you used? Uh, it wouldn't be helpful to impose sanctions. Uh, Amnesty International are calling for Israel to be referred to the International Criminal Court for Crimes Against Humanity. Will you support it? They are calling for targeted sanctions against Israeli officials who are perpetuating the system of apartheid. Just exactly the same types of sanctions you've just initiated against Vladimir, Vladimir Putin. Will you support it? Uh, and I think the answer is clearly you're not going to. And then we ask the question, why? Why? With such strength of feeling, Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil and Green TD stood up one after the other, saying it was intolerable, the tuggery and the warmongering and the brutality of Putin, you wouldn't stand for it, urgent action had to be taken, but we've got to be much more careful with the Palestinians.